sex tapes at their high school, but we found out some students may not know they were even being recorded. Absolutely. Our Chris Holmstrom has been following this story. He is live tonight at Grant High School with the story. That's right. Good evening, Jeff and Ann. You know, school leaders here at Grant High School, along with Portland police, are taking this incident very seriously. They've also taken away phones trying to figure out just who exactly is involved. Someone did, like, sexual activities, and then that person yeah, recorded the, the person doing it. It's the talk of Grant High School, students involved in sexual activity on and off campus, and also taping it. I heard that two students had sex in the women's locker room, and the boy taped it and then showed it to his friends. I learned the Portland Police Sex Crimes Unit started investigating last week after they were tipped off by a school resource officer. The question they want answered, did the students in the video know they were being taped, and how was the video shared? Parents I spoke with had no idea this had even happened. That is so horrible because like even the telephones, you know, the telephones made me so nervous. I tell the girls, you know, be very careful because you don't know what could be on there. What's the reason why? I called the Portland Public School District and found out they first notified parents last week. The email was brief but said some students at Grant High School could be facing disciplinary action. And just today they sent this email saying in part, we take student safety very seriously, investigated promptly, and have been cooperating with the police. We are following the district's discipline policies and procedures. At this point, neither the school or police are saying how many students were involved. It's pretty wrong that he actually filmed it and showed it to his friends and stuff like that. And as of now, police have not made any arrests, but school officials have made some suspensions that could turn to expulsions. Of course, we'll keep you updated. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom for Quinn 6 News.